everyone, it's me, Violet Chachki. And we got Mick. And you are watching a special edition Pride No No Gorge. No No Gorge. The or, No No Gorge. This is the No No Gorge. No, no Gorge. gorge. We are just celebrating the summer season, celebrating Pride in our own special, unique way. <laughs> Hopefully the audio is recording this time. <laughs> Wouldn't be no gorge if it was. Right, right, right. This is, but this is no. Oh. This is no, no gorge. So the audio will probably be perfect. Because the real no gorge. Doesn't have audio. Doesn't have audio. <laughs> <laughs> we are performing today at LA Pride. <gasps> Opening for the one, the only, Mariah Carey. So we thought, what better way to celebrate than with slutty outfits and makeup? Period! I started my drag career with this brand. Oh, if think... you're a crossdresser, you've worn something from Leg Avenue. They are the OG before anyone, really. They were doing the Lord's work. And they have sponsored us before with Halloween. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? That's, it. That's exactly what it is. We are going to actually be hosting in this artistry today once we style this up and make it our own. So I'm very excited. I'm feeling very excited. I love styling clothes. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go shave off camera and I'll be right back. I'm ready. Didn't SpongeBob come out as gay like a few years ago? Like in 2020? Whatever. Remember that? You just needed more press. Well, let's get right into it. Makeup time, my love. Mick likes to show me these ticky talkies of like the most random thing ever. Like there was one that was so random yesterday. It was of a dog. Girl no, falling. there was a peanut butter baby one. There's a woman who took her baby to the hospital and fed it peanut butter. Just to see. So Testing your baby's peanut butter tolerance. Because you know if you have a peanut allergy, you're a loser. <laughs> Watch your mouth. What I was saying is you were showing me a TikTok, a different TikTok. Right. It was the vi <laughs> It was the video of the girl like running on the treadmill oh, and she right, like falls right, and then right. the treadmill like rips her pants off. And she's wearing a little thong. Well, I was just saying, I was imagining like if that was Violet, I would die. Like imagine that happening to your best friend, you would like piss your pants for the rest of your life. That thong, that thong, thong, thong. I would never be able to recover. We were laughing. So that led us to the discussion of what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done that's been caught on camera. What about when you fell on the marble table? That was everything. Oh no! Our table! When I fell on the marble table, that, I'm sorry, that's how you end a performance. Mm -hmm. But the most embarrassing thing Mick's done on camera is performing to my song, Betty. There's one part where you took your necklace, your necklace was like falling off and you took it and threw it and slammed it into a guy's face. I'm so close to quitting drag, I can feel it. I mean, if you quit. What, you're gonna quit too? No, I'll be happier. <laughs> What kind of look are you doing, Mick? It's a bad question because I'm definitely doing a black smoky eye. I am gonna do a rainbow lid. Wow. Psych! Yeah, imagine. Smoky eye for me, bitch. We don't do that. We don't yeah. do makeup looks like everyone else like that. Uh-uh. I'm not like other girls. I'm like kind of wacky. <gasps> I know your most embarrassing thing on camera. I <laughs> think interview. Oh my God, I hate <laughs> that. That wasn't <laughs> that was how dare you. <laughs> we were talking about how whenever we go to do a photo shoot or a video shoot or something, it happens every single time. I'm gonna go do a photo shoot, they're gonna have a makeup artist, they're gonna have a hairstylist, they're gonna have a nail tech. They're professionals. <laughs> they are professionals in their field. Wrong! And what's worse is they're bad. Well, drag and makeup is also just like so hard it's and people so don't different. get it. And you see it with that Ursula Sage. It's like you can't, like transformative makeup is so much different than, than beauty, beauty makeup. makeup. And beauty makeup is different than prosthetics. It's just all fucking different. The like, Ursula be, shit, you want to get into that? Even, they're all different jobs, like not a makeup artist. Like it's, it's all different. It's all different. What are your thoughts on the Ursula controversy? No tea. I really didn't have an issue with it. I thought the makeup looked really bad, but it wasn't like the end of the world to me. It just like could have been way better. Right. And so I was like, whatever. This guy like wasn't like cut out for it, but he hooks the gig. Like we all would have taken the fucking gig. Yeah, like, you know, a gig like, is whatever. A gig, yeah. So like boohoo, bitch. The guy like goes online and starts like the talking. makeup artist. Yes, he starts like doing these interviews about being like, this is offensive. That like 
Oh, because he's I'm, gay? No, he's, like, not. He's not gay? Mm-mm. So it's, like... Oh, and all these my are, God. So, you're joking. No, and these people are, like, it should have been a queer makeup artist. And he's, like, this is offensive. Like, who? why can't I be um, just you as good as, job. like, a queer makeup artist? But now artist. I'm mad. Now I'm mad. I know. And then that's when I told you Courtney Conquers of Ryan was, like... That's literally what we're asking. It's like, why, why can't you be as good as yeah. a makeup artist? And then, obviously, like, the creator of Little Mermaid was, like, it was inspired by Divine and, like, all that artistry. And right. then the guy does a full interview. You saw all this? Yes, and he goes, there was no other inspiration then- besides me and Melissa talking this out. Cool. It's so stupid. Like, just shut your mouth. Like, sometimes... No, just take the loss. People are so crazy. Like, all of the time I see people, like, just saying crazy stuff in interviews. I'm like, you should have just... Kept your little... I should have kept my mouth closed. I agree with everything you just said. We went to go to The Little Mermaid together. Halle Bailey, gorgeous. I don't think I've ever seen a more pretty person on my she screen. She looked like... Uh, the actual like cartoon. No, she looks like, like a Disney eyes are, like, princess. Far apart I'm like, and do what? they filter it to make her look she, more beautiful? Like, she how does someone look that beautiful? Like Ariel. Like her eyes are like, I don't know. It looks like a drawing. I think the issue for me with Melissa's makeup, she was did a fabulous. Well, there's two. I have two issues. There's a makeup issue, and then there's the inclusivity issue, right? This movie was so inclusive of everybody, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Disney had the perfect opportunity to include a queer character because the character they were casting was based off of a queer icon. So if there was ever an opportunity to take, to truly do inclusivity, this would be a fabulous opportunity to take. You are absolutely right. They didn't do that. Though with Melissa McCarthy, who, to my knowledge, is a cis straight woman. I don't know her whole journey. It was based off a drag queen. I would have loved to see a drag queen. We didn't get that. Boo hoo. Melissa McCarthy does a fabulous job. Yeah, I loved her in it. The thing that I think could have pushed it over the edge is the makeup. What do you think about Target? I fucking hate it. Yeah. Like, nobody asked you to be an ally. You chose to be an ally. Yeah. Okay? Nobody asked you to be an ally. Mm-hmm. You were the one who thought, I'll be an ally and I'll profit off of it. And right. now when push comes to shove, you're recanting? Fuck you. No one asked you to do this. You did this of your own volition because you saw a market. And now it gets a little difficult and you whimper? That's like the opposite of what pride is about. Like, leave us alone. Like, nobody asked for you. I know. Like, no one sent for you, bitch. Like, leave us alone then. Pride is feeling different for me. Like, it used to be like, oh, cool, fun thing. Like, loves it. Like, the first time I went out in drag was to a pride. But now I'm actually like, oh no. We like, need this more than ever. It's so annoying. Drag legislature, the people with the guns, come showing up in KKK outfits. You that one video of that drag brunch? Yeah, I did. That was crazy. Just like, what the fuck is happening? Like five years ago, it was like gay is okay, and now all hell is broken loose. I know it does feel very like we're like regressing. I mean, we have just been so busy, haven't we? We're prepping for major, major projects coming up. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. <laughs> Anything can happen. Anything. Us referencing Katya is so funny. It's just the best thing anyone's ever said. I just can't wait to have her on the pod. But yeah, I mean, I'm excited because like Adam gave us so much shit and I like need outfits. And I'm also in my like weird Y2K slut phase. Yeah, going back to the 2000s. Your heyday. I hate you. You're so (laughs) rude. Ooh, this is an Ursula brow if I've ever seen one. Honey. Moi or you? Oh yeah. See, this is what we're talking about. Do you see how the brows are <sighs> angrier? And I probably could have done more. If we were being divine slash Ursula, yeah, I think so. I think they could have really pushed it. All right, let's cut the camera's dead ass. No, we're talking. You know, like, I have to focus. I can't be, I'm having a good time kikiing with you for once. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, no, I really do need to focus on my makeup, though.
<laughs> oh my god, I just had so much fun getting ready with you. I had to actually. We're done, surprise. <laughs> we had to cut the cameras because I was just enjoying talking with you so much. We never get to hang out anymore. We really don't. But we finished our makeup. It's looking gorgeous. And now. I feel like we should go and put on some like Avenue artistry. Did you also know that you can get 15% off of all of your Leg Avenue purchases if you use code NOGORGE at checkout? And we have actually curated our own Leg Avenue pride curated list of all of our items that we are so excited to wear this season. So make sure you click the link in our bio and shop away. All right, you guys. So we are going to go get into our final looks and we'll see you soon. All right, and there you have it, our gorgeous Pride Leg Avenue outfits. I feel so proud and gorgeous. Me too. I'm sorry to get out there and be so proud. <laughs> Mariah, here we come. I went for a below the knee fishnet rainbow flag eleganza with a waist cincher, low rise belt, gauntlets, and I even styled it crisscross here. That as is the go-to. My the, signature the go -to. styling memento. Yes. And then I did my space age earrings. And I, I feel like I really elevated the uh, garment. What I do you think? think? too. Yes. And then I am wearing my favorite little bustier corset moment ever with this little rainbow leotard, a little Natasha moment on the shoe. Custom shoes. A Get little, into it. A little custom shoe, honey. I had to. And then just like kept it simple. I mean, like what? It's pride, babe. Yeah, it's all like, about. What am I? Like this is it. Being loud. Do you need more? Thank you for watching this amazing video. I hope you have the best pride season ever. I know I am. You know, I'm having the best day with you. Love you so much. Oh. Bye. Bye, Bye, Josh.